Sim City uh, 6, I think. And welcome to Eco Town, which you may notice is not. It's not desert town. And um, the reason for that is I really wanted to see some green. I get fed up with the desert, so I have um, come over to another area here. And you can't really, you can't see the area. But it, this is one of the very big areas in city skylines. I, d I decide to show it to you right now as it gets dark. It's kind of pointless. But um, I think you can put about 14 towns in this area. It's very big. And what I want to do here is I want to concentrate on this small area. You can see what I've got here if I go up. Let me show you how much I've used. I have used, well you can see how big this area is. It's uh, massive. You can see how much I've used here. It's just, I don't know, what would that be? Maybe one eighth of the space. And um, they're crying out for me to zone in more places because they say there's an unemployment crisis. There are more workers than jobs. Uh, oh, they want more industrial and stuff. That's fine, I can probably put in a bit more industrial. But what I want to do here is, instead of going kind of all out and zoning in, building roads and zoning and stuff all over the place, I wanted to try to concentrate everything on this small area and I wanted to see, can I, can I get every single building to fully upgrade and can I see just how much of a population I can get into this small space I don't know exactly why I want to do that but I do know it is something I've tried to do many times in SimCity and if anybody else has played this game, you may understand me when I say it is not easy to play this game, ignore what's going on here, and just let things upgrade. Because the tendency is, as soon as you see anything, go like I've just had a, a message saying that we need more factories which I will put in but the tendency is to just keep building it sounds kind of strange but in this game and I think I'm proving the point here it's it's very hard not to um, build things see I've got a road here you know as soon as you click on the the zoning thing it is it is kind of tempting to start filling up all these lines here but but I'd really like to just concentrate on what I have here it is becoming reasonable a reasonable uh, size and I'm I'm, I'm having a reasonable amount of people, 50,000. And really all I want to do with the money I'm earning, which, by the way, is just on tax at the moment. I'm not doing anything at all here. But I just want to concentrate on 
these services. See if I can keep everybody happy in this little block. Now the one thing it has been telling me for a long, long time is that it really wants some parks. The thing about parks, of course, is I don't really want all these buildings to become medium or high wealth. I quite like them the way they are. So what I'm going to do is I am going to I may get rid of this school I may just put a few parks in around here and just upgrade these areas here and see if that will make this little message go away so let's check the land value pretty low here because of the dump and let's I don't really have tons of money I've got a fair amount but not lots let's just well I can just fit one and I'm going to get rid of I don't want to be a bit worried that I may increase all these shops and don't really want to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the school and then I will put a park here Here, well, yeah, I can put one here as well. Well, there you go. That's uh, that'll do something, I guess. What I also need to do now, I saw the little signal there telling me to fix this thing. this is really all I wanted to do here I just wanted to concentrate on keeping everybody happy in this town uh, I wanted to educate everybody how is that I am well I've got a lot more people than I had so I think I've got a school down here I'm going to max this out. That's it. A lot of buildings have already come up to full potential but there's a hell of a lot of these ones here that could uh, that they still have to um, upgrade and then we'll see I will see what I will do from 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 then I will see what I will do do from then my god I'm not making any sense. It is ten past one in the morning. Is that lightning? Oh, no, it's the sun. <laughs> ten past one in the morning here in reality. And it is the 28th of March 2016.
just before I started this I was frantically skipping from one YouTube video to another trying to find something anything to arrest my attention I don't know why but it's one of those evenings when I can't find anything of interest the best fun I had today was this afternoon I totally got absorbed in the process of putting together a little video to commemorate the 1916 Easter Rising and I'm Irish and, uh, in school we studied all of those historical um, episodes in the history of Ireland and today or rather yesterday was the anniversary and I wanted to I just got the idea to do something to put together a very short video when I say short I mean very short it's about one one minute and ten seconds but still it took me about three hours because I, I was very finicky in putting certain things together but the process of doing that, being absorbed in that, uh, in that task which was a perfect little task because I had all the I had all the things I needed like various pictures of Irish flags and things like that and I had the soundtrack which is kind of a speech from a movie and so it was only a case of putting it together properly so it was a task that was not too difficult but yet suitably absorbing to well to really take the time away completely so that you you know when you're really into something like that you, you don't look at your watch you don't ask what time it is and that felt really good it felt really good to be um, absorbed in something having that objective to finish it then to post it on uh, to upload it to, to YouTube and then to send it to my Facebook account I really enjoyed the process of doing things like that and then after I did that I uploaded something else uh, uh, a book, uh, uh, an audio book I'm reading but then after that I tried to find something to entertain myself on YouTube and I just couldn't I don't know if anybody else ha ha um, if, if you have days where you just can't seem to get can't seem to get into anything you know it's like if I had been watching TV today I would have been spending all the time just flicking from channel to channel to channel so anyway the only thing I could think of was to come back to this SimCity which I had been playing yesterday and which I had done some recording already but I didn't the recording wasn't very good I was stopping and starting and I was working in the middle of it in, in my uh, restaurant so I thought uh, right now I just had the urge to come back start on this again because again it is one of those tasks which is well certainly not difficult this is really all you've got to do is talk and keep an, an eye on things at the same time here I shouldn't really be having a problem with fires that's good they managed to put that out because there is only one two three four maybe five no four main roads here and everything is positioned you know all the services are positioned very well here so 
so I've got a very good coverage by the police by the fire and uh, I've got a full maxed out clinic Uh, I'm up to 76,000 people now. I've got some money. What else do I need? So these two buildings are medium, I would imagine. Yeah. I have another upgrade. Uh, like I said, I'm not actually doing anything at all here. This is all, all the money coming in is from tax, but because the population is growing all the time and because I don't really have very um, many services, I don't have any of the, the major, I don't have the major police station or any of those things. I don't have any major schools, I don't have a college, so if I go in here, you can see the school that I'm spending most on education. Otherwise I'm not really spending that much on anything. That tax is pretty high. So the money is kind of adding up as a matter of interest. I've never actually checked. I'm pretty sure there's not to see if there's any oil in my land here. No, there's not. Not a drop. How about coal? Well, there is some that's not coal. That's um, ore. So there is a little bit of ore here, which uh, oh, it's right beside the um, right beside the water. So if I was to put a factory there in time, it may destroy the water, pollute, pollute the water. What the? Something just blew up. I'm also pretty sure that the wind is blowing that way so if I set the ore here it would be not very good for the for the people let's check coal so there is a coal thing here now that might be a bit interesting because I actually do have a road there So right here there's coal. I think I could put a a small little coal thing in here. That wouldn't really change my game plan very much. It's the wind is blowing that way. I've got all industry here. This is the sewage treatment plant. This is the water. Have to keep an eye on that. So let's for something to do. Let's put the a coal thing here. Coal mine. Okay, keep it there. Whoops! <laughs> Those people, man, they don't like that. Good. It's good that I managed to get them right out into the uh, the area where the coal is. This is the delivery truck. Going to need a few of those. Let's take another one. Uh, there. So that's going to start uh, producing coal. 
think I'm going to have to get rid of this water tower. Of course, the other thing you need if you're going to do coal is you're going to need a trade depot. Oh, ex excellent. Fits right there. It's away from everybody. And what you need here is obviously a coal storage lot. And then you want to export the coal. That should add more jobs as well to this place. Though. I think there was a lack of jobs, but uh, what does this thing look like? Hmm, it's quite impressive. It's like a big. almost like a bridge it's like a bridge that's under construction this guy isn't happy because he's saying commercial buildings are not getting enough freight well that will be in a minute and then you have these signs saying that you need more of this and that and the other but that's that's the thing that becomes difficult because you have to ignore those things if you want to just really max out this if I if I want to just max out this uh, area then I need to forget about those messages because you can see there's still an awful lot of development to happen here So yeah, this evening does the townhouse looks like it had a fire or something. The townhouse can't, uh, the city hall can't have a fire, can it? I guess it's just the shadows. Yeah, today, like I said, it's funny. Over the last few days, I haven't been able to find anything to to um, take my interest in YouTube. I've clicked on certain things like these um, ki uh, React channels, and then there are other channels that are lists, the top 10 this, the top 10 that. And then there's other people who there are guys that just take the piss out of other videos uh, and then there's another thing which is guys I can't remember what it's called men going their own way or something and there's just video after video um, critic criticizing feminism and kind of criticizing all things female it seems and I'm not interested in anything that's on that list but somehow the the machinery or whatever it, I it is that uh, the algorithms and stuff within the YouTube world they keep suggesting these things to me you know, every time I click on the home page, uh, my home page of, of YouTube, I just have row after row of lots of videos I don't want to see. Um, and I've got no ideas. I don't know what to type into the. I don't know what to type into the fucking search bar. Sometimes I'll have an idea. I'll type something in. I may 
want to find out something about an actor or something and that will lead me on to something else and then to something else and I may have a whole evening of you know all you need to do is find one program that's an hour long but that hasn't happened and uh, all I keep getting offered is just piles and piles of shit and it's I try not to get involved I try not to leave comments but some of the stuff it's, it's so tempting you know you have guys and they're talking about being creators of content and, uh, creators of this and creators of that working very hard and they're artists and honestly the vast majority of them I mean you know I got one guy talking about being an artist and a creator and all he does is sit down and watch other people's videos and I mean if he had something interesting to say because you know s certain reviewers are I've watched interesting I've enjoyed people talking about movies and things because if someone's opinion is interesting it can be entertaining but these guys sometimes and this is for me this is kind of mind-blowingly uh, I don't know what to say they don't do anything they literally just watch the video I watch one or two you're kind of waiting for something to happen because you know the guy's got like thousands and thousands of of views and subscribers and things but nothing happens as I'm talking actually I do remember although I think I've seen most of his material but there is a guy called the nostalgia critic and his bunch of people uh, and I do find them pretty good because at least they he, he does an awful lot of work on the videos he makes he does put some effort in sometimes uh, he, I think he does he's done a couple of movies with all his other reviewing reviewer friends And that's pretty good whether you you know whether you're a big fan of it or not you can still see that there's a lot of work on into it but so much other stuff and I like I said at the moment I just seem to be getting because I I can't believe that that's all there is on YouTube there's got to be other things but that seems to be all I keep getting shown at the moment so where am I now 86 well am I going to get to a hundred thousand in this little square that'd be cool I put this little dirt road down here it's got nothing can grow on either side now because there's no space but it's it's not something I did before it's a pretty good idea it gives you an extra road in the middle of the two of the you know two streets of high-rise flats like I said it's kind of come about by default but if you do that between every two streets you, you manage to get this you it should be pretty good for traffic it's an extra road for traffic and you can upgrade it and there's nothing there's not going to be any buildings on I either side of this road this is such a huge region here I'm tempted to I'm looking at all these beautiful empty spaces and I think about this area I like as well as that it's easy to build on all the most of the areas are flat you don't have two tiers or three tiers and the other good thing about where I am here is the the trees after been in the 
desert it's nice to be in an area where you've got uh, trees and grass you get, you get a view here of how big it is this is a nice um, area it's on a it's kind of on a cliff but uh, I think that's as far as I can go it's a pity you can't come out here but that's it and uh, well I think that's about it for me because I think that's about 30 minutes and uh, that it would be long enough for an upload and my uh, it's long enough for a person like me to whinge about the fact that over the last few days I can't seem to find anything to uh, hold my attention on YouTube I'm sure I'll find something it goes like that sometimes I think it's happened to me before and then sometimes when you least expect it you just click on something it leads to something else and you're engaged in something some program so let's leave it there and uh, I'm gonna let this thing run for a little while see if I can get every building to become fully grown. Bye for now.